I've had a chance to walk around inside the house, and I see some serious problems in there. Oh, and I suspect that most of the problems in Santa Fe are caused by a canali. I made them leave um, an adobe window for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I used, right. Well, um, this is where I paint my still life, and I wanted to, sometimes to have the op option to use adobe as a background. Mm -hmm. Matias, right, Matias. And this wrought iron fixture. You know, it's, it's almost hard to tell how old anything is. That's true. Funding for this old house is provided by Parks Corporation, makers of Carver Trip wood stains, clear finishes, and enamels, products that enrich, protect, and preserve the natural beauty of wood. And by State Farm Insurance and the more than 17,000 State Farm agents for family insurance needs, auto, home, life, and health. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi, I'm Steve Thomas. Welcome to this old house. We're in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and we've been wanting to come out here for a long time to do a job. Well, can you blame us? Mountains that burn red in the sunset, plains that roll unbroken all the way to the horizon, and a sky that's deep blue 300 days a year. Well, up here we're at 7,000 feet, and I'll tell you, it leaves you a little breathless. But for me, it's worth it, because the light is unbelievable. When it rakes across the world, it brings alive all the colors of nature. Look at the flowing forms of these adobe buildings. You don't find that anywhere else. Santa Fe is the product of three distinct cultures, Indian, Spanish, and Anglo. Now, it was the early Spaniards who first brought this adobe mud construction technique to the New World. But it's the color of the local soil that gives these buildings their unique color. They seem to conform to the landscape itself. Maybe that's the Indian influence, the closeness to nature. Well, it didn't take much more to persuade us that Santa Fe would be a great place for one of our This Old House projects. So we called up an old friend who put us in touch with a respected local contractor, John Wolf. Well, Wolf sounded like quite a character on the phone. So Norm decided to check them out the best way we know, at the job site. Let's watch. Well, John, this is beautiful country. Snow on the mountains, clean, dry air. I can't wait to be out here for a while. Oh, this is a pleasure having this old house here in Santa Fe. Well, you know, we like to go around the country and see how construction is done differently, and this sounded like a good place. Different? Well, I have something here that's plenty different. It's built like nowhere else in the country. Can you show it to us? Let's go. Boy, John, this is a great house. How old is it? Well, the first floor on this side is a 100-year-old adobe with rock foundations. So it's real adobe. It's real adobe. The second story we just added, we didn't frame. Oh, okay. Can we see it? You bet. This is just about ready to wrap up. Well, this building on the left was existing, and we didn't do anything to it. So it's a garage there. Well, it's a garage now, but phase three will make it into a family room. Oh, I the see. The structure up above is a uh, guest room right now, and it's a guest house, and we're just going to leave it like that. Okay. This is where we did the work. This is your work over here. Now, now what did you do? Well, it was a one-story structure. We added the second story. This porch and all that? Yes, the cantilevered uh, porch was added. Windows? The windows, the but, brow up above. What I like about it is that it looks like it was always like this. It doesn't look like you add it on. That's what we do best. So it all blends in. It's part of the trick, huh? Yes, it is. Now, what's behind this door right here? Mechanical room. Now, there's a bump out. It's kind of small. I mean, is that interior space, this thing that goes straight up right here? Well, we had to flew out for the mechanical room, and it's a mechanical chase for a lot of pipes and so forth. Okay, the old Santa plumbing Fe. chase. Huh? Yes, it is, and it's a Santa Fe disguise. Now, what's this? Uh, a nice elliptical window, but it's not a... It's not a bay window, it's not a bow window, it kind of looks like a blister that's stuck on the side of the oh, building. this one here, this is a wart. <laughs> no, this is a sitting, sitting space and the dining room is on the, on the other side. That's kind of cantilevered out on the floor. You know, I noticed that all the corners, everything's rounded, it's very soft. There's no, no 90 degree corners you on this building. don't have levels and that sort of thing, this is Santa Fe. Oh, so it's all sculptured. Sculpted. Yes. And now what's over here? Well, this, this building. was uh, an existing building and it's a greenhouse. And uh, you're really not doing much of anything with no, that? No, okay. not, not now. But where's the, where's the million dollar entrance? Right around the corner. Boy, John, this is some door. Not only is it about nine feet tall, but is this all hand carved? Well, this is old Mexico. This is actually an old Mexico door that was hand carved, pine, and in order to make it work for the front entry of this house, 
we had to put it into a large fur frame. Okay, so it was a small door and you just made it bigger. I know. It's okay. beautiful. Check the action out. Hmm. Is it hard to find door? relics like that? Oh, it's getting very difficult. Hmm. It's not like it I used to be. Imagine. Oh, this is now, a, what's this? Pass through from the uh, wet bar on the other side. But on the other wall, we have a nicho. A nicho. What's yes. that? Yes. Well, how about a niche in the wall? <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Okay. I got hand carved, huh? These are hand carved doors. And this was existing in the house when we came here to do the remodeling work. And uh, we just uh, left this, this nicho here. It's for kachina dolls, religious artifacts, who knows? Oh, Anything you want to put in there. That's great. Now, tell me about this fireplace. This is a little different than what I'm used to seeing. Traditional Santa Fe fireplace and the fact that it still has a, you know, the arched opening to yeah. it. We have the, the uh, flagstone hearth here for fire coat. More of your plaster, no, no square plaster. corners. Amazing. No square corners. Now I noticed that the building seems to be coming and going up and down. Uh, it's sort of embarrassing, but it's it's Santa Fe. What can I say? It's uh, these these joists are laying on old rock foundations. That's all you can do. The right? owner loves it. Now we're going down. It seems about three feet. Boy. Yes, this what? was an old addition that was probably put on the house. We we could not date this portion of the building when we were working on oh, it. Is that right? But uh, <clears throat> we came across. We put a radiant system down below. These brick are sitting on sand, Norm. And then there's pipes underneath this? That's correct. You I feel can the feel warmth? it. Yeah, it's, it's nice and toasty. That's it. That's our heat. Wow. What is this? This is Juarez. Juarez, like Mexico. A, a marble, right? Marble. And this is, this is labor-intensive work to be doing this as well. The marble sheets are not that large, so what we have to do is we take them in small pieces and lay them with brass. Now, this is done in Mexico. My men don't do this. <laughs> but it's uh, a labor-intensive, a lot of grinding to get this proper bull nose to it. It looks beautiful, though. Now, what about underneath oh, it? What's this cabinet? You notice that this is about a 150, 200 year old Scandinavian cabinet. And this set the precedence for all the rest of the cabinets in the kitchen that the client wanted. We so you modeled all this woodworking after that cabinet? That's right. This is a refrigerator door that's uh, been totally uh, hidden. You made the panel. You made the panels. And these cabinets too? All the cabinets, the, the plate rack up above here. All these cabinets, it's all brand new on the inside, but made it look old on the now, outside. Uh, I see a high-tech restaurant type stuff. Zero clearance, they're terrific. They no. work. And a fan. <laughs> and more plaster. Yeah, more I mean, it's, molded plaster. Not just a plain metal fan, enclosed in all this plaster. That's correct. You know, this ceiling is very interesting with the, the Well, the this beams. is what we use in Santa Fe here. The Vigas we use in place of the joist. And in the old days, what they used to do is that when you were building a house, you'd lay your vigas down for your ceiling joist. Perpendicular to that, you'd put smaller branches that are called latias. And then on top of that, you would set it down brush, and then about six to eight, ten inches worth of dirt on top of that. Okay. The problem with it is, is that a lot of pests would live in it. Centipedes, ants, whatever you would find, would come dripping through. So as soon as a person had enough money, they'd go out and get some cheesecloth, span it between the vigas, and paint it with lime. Uh, paint and that way they would keep the bugs from falling through. So you're trying to get the same effect here by by doing a little arch with plaster. Santa Fe style has modified this slightly by uh, allowing us to put an arch in here. It's called cold plastering. A beautiful skylight too. We added that in. This is the dining area back now, here. Now wh what's this? Big long This is area. a banco. This is our dining banco. A banco? Well, a uh, New England bench. Okay. <laughs> And what are these cutouts for? I mean, well, I'll show you over here. This is going to be for the table, the dining room table. This table here? Yes. Okay, now, okay, I see what you're trying to do. You made those notches for the legs to fit in so you can slide it up closer to the That's banco? That's correct, to the banco, banco. Okay. yes. It's a nice table, too. Thank you. It's a beautiful old piece. Now this is the, uh, is the wart that we saw from the outside. That's right. right. We're, we're on the inside of the wart right now. Okay. Now what's and as you can see, it's, it's getting hard to find old doors, so what we do is we hand carve and make our own doors right on site. That's nice. Back that in bathroom. here, we have a bathroom. We, we, this is a custom sink that we have here. We've taken a fixture, for example, from the shelf and added, added some wrought iron work to it. So this is a hand-painted sink and tile, actually a seam, and regular plumbing guts working parts, and, but you've made the uh, actual handles and the spout. That's correct. Very interesting. All hand-painted and glazing. What's next? Let me take you upstairs and show you the master suite. Okay. Well, John, this is quite a staircase. Did you actually build it right here? Well, we had to build it here, Norm. This is cast-in-place reinforced concrete, ah. and it leads right up to a bridge. We go off to our right, would be a guest bedroom, 
But let's go left into the master suite area. These doors here were modified. These are old Mexico doors, mesquite. More artifacts, huh? That's it. That's great. This will be a handcrafted door on your right-hand side. And the master bathroom. Boy, yes, look at this tile. Whirlpool tub and all this tile along the front. It's actually three-dimensional. It sticks out. It's not flat. Oh, I know. It's, it's uh, like a bar relief to it. It's all hand-painted ceramic tiles. And I feel more heat here. Yes, and uh, this is some more of the radiant floor. This is the radiant heat coming up. And then this is a pre-sealed Sautillo tile. Okay. Now, what about these shutters? Tell me something about those. Well, those these look were interesting. Sonora cactus, just lying in the desert. And we put those into a pine frame. Nice detail. It gives it a little bit of light comes through, but you still get your privacy. Yeah. Boy, look at nice. this vanity in the mirror. Nice configuration. Boy, hand-painted tile, huh? My favorite part is the cactus right over here coming up. Oh, yeah, it actually sticks out like the other tile. Sure does. Great. Bedroom? What's over here? The bedroom? Yes. Oh, I can see why. This is the view. This is the million-dollar view. You get the whole Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And had we been 15 minutes earlier, Norm, these mountains would have been red with the sunset. Is that right? Yes. Beautiful spot. Now tell me about this fireplace. I've seen about six of them so far in the house. Well, this is a Kiva fireplace. This is Santa Fe style. You'll see them in just about every house in Santa Fe. Are they expensive? About $1,500 a unit. And no wonder there's so many. That's not too bad. It'd be about twice as much for a fireplace back home. Well, that's what we charge here. Well, look, John, we uh, came here to Santa Fe to see if we could find a project to follow. And we were told that you might be able to bring us to someone who is starting a project. I have someone in mind. This is someone I did some work for, a pair of Santa Fe artists. I did a job for them about five years ago. They have just been waiting for this old house to arrive to help them out. Well, you know, maybe we can follow along, and I'm sure we might be able to help them out with some of it. Oh, I'm sure that they would just love it. Let's give them a call. Okay. All righty, Mark. Well, Steve, this must be the place. They told us to look for the realist gallery on the left and the coyote fence on the right. <laughs> Hey, I like realists and coyotes, but hey, look at uh, this jumble of lines on all these adobe buildings. You know, it's, it's tremendous visual activity. I really love it. Right. And this up here, I think they call these portals. Yeah, they do. Yeah, and I love this big hand adds beam, it looks like there, and these, they call these latillas up right, there. Right, latillas. And this wrought iron fixture. You know, it's, it's almost hard to tell how old anything is. That's true. Yeah. Even these old doors. Yeah. Well, let's see if they're home. Well, hello. Hi. Welcome. Come on Thanks. in. Norm Abram. Nice to meet you, Norm. Steve Thomas. Hi, Steve. Come in. Thank you. John Wolf said you were coming by. Hey, this is great. What uh, orient us? Where are we? All right, this is the new hall that we built about four years ago. Yeah. When I originally bought the property, this wall was the exterior wall of the old house. And we've, we've done away with the old door there and, and uh, did this new construction. Yeah. I see it's nice traditional adobe brick. Yes, it's, uh, it is. This is uh, a historic area of Santa Fe, and so as a consequence, we have to do everything as closely as possible to the old ways. Right. Now, that, that concrete bond beam certainly isn't historic. What's, what's the story on that? No, it isn't. That's part of code now, and, and we have to put that on all the, the old structures. Mm -hmm. Holds it together. Yes. Well, I love these drawers. Did uh, they come from the original building? No, they came from Central Mexico. Uh, we were able to get the doors a couple of years ago, and we're waiting for uh, new construction on the property to go ahead and put them in. So you're going to use them in yes. the renovation. That's great. Mm -hmm. Right. So this hall goes down to, uh, is this a friend of yours here? Yes, that's Bill. That's, <laughs> I got him up on the Crow Indian Reservation in Montana. Poor Bill. I knew him where. Yes. So where are you taking us? This is our studio. Come on in. Wow. This is a nice room. Yeah, warm, high ceilings, plenty of light. This must be your wife. It is. This Hi. is Joanna. Steve Thomas. Steve, welcome. Norm Abram. Norm, I'm Pleasure. so glad you're here. Nice to meet you. Boy, I love your studio. Well, it's thank you. filled with light. I guess it's north light, right? True north light. So I've, I've always heard, you know, it's real important for a painter to have north light, but I've never understood why. It's, it's imperative. I need a consistent temperature of light all day long. Um, even on a cloudy day, this gathers enough light to work, and it's never warm or cool. It's absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm a real spoiled artist, Boy. and this has been a great space for us. Wouldn't mind uh, 
spending some time writing in this case. Uh, I would make it into a nice workshop. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> no deal? <laughs> no deal. Well, now, in talking to John Wolf, uh, he told me that he actually built this studio for you. Yes, he did. John uh, built the studio about four years ago, wasn't 1985, it? 1985. Out of Adobe as well? Absolutely. In fact, I made them leave um, an Adobe window for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why I is used, that? Well, um, this is where I paint my still life, and I wanted to, sometimes to have the option to use Adobe as a background. That's great. So it's almost like a window on the path. Yeah. yeah. What's the story in these beams? They look like they're old, too. Yes, they are. They were... Uh, they were actually done in the old manner. They're, they're contemporary beams. Uh, we brought the logs down from the Pecos Wilderness and uh, had them adds here on the property, mm -hmm. just the way the old uh, the Spanish did when they originally mm -hmm. settled this area. Hey, I love this. It doesn't look like, look like you need us here. Oh, but yes, we do need you here. Come on, let us show you. It's bad. It is bad. Oh, bad is good for us. Well, Jim, exactly how old is the original building here, you know? We're not really sure. The records are in such chaos here. We, we have no idea, but we think it's over 60 years. Yeah. Is this a doorway? This was a window in the original house, and it led into these two small bedrooms. You can see there was a divider here with this attractive green paint yeah. that went up this way. Uh, Jim, there's a new Vega. What happened? Yes, the old Vega had rotted off, and when we took the wall down, uh, the roof started to collapse there, so we had to replace it. Okay. Hey, I like this. I love this religious statue here of a saint in this niche, and right next to it, as if in offering, there's in this old house business card. We're praying you'll help us with this. <laughs> in a very simple, workmanlike closet here. Yes, this is fairly unusual for them to add closets on uh, to the houses yeah. up here. Usually they didn't do that. So it's a refinement already. Yeah. Now, Joanna, is this your dream kitchen? This is my nightmare kitchen. Really? Huh. Again, the same... Uh, Basic, real yeah. simple cabinetry. Faux door here, yeah. painted on, plywood. Uh, what, concrete floors here? This is concrete. It was covered by this very attractive carpeting. We saved mm -hmm. a piece to use in our decorating later. We thought we'd frame it. Is That's that not lovely? lovely? Yeah, yeah. we, we thought you'd like that. Reproduced and use it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Nor, what do you think we can do with this? Can we patch this? Uh, What's happening? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think that's going to need more than a band-aid, Jim. Yeah. Oh, boy. What's in here? This is kind of a catch-all room. Washroom, extra bedroom, storage. Yeah? You can sleep and do your laundry at the same time. <laughs> I wish. Is this another closet? This is the bathroom. Bathroom. Cat room. Mm -hmm. Hi, cat. What's your cat's name? That's Gatsby. Hi, Gatsby. She uh, stays warm. And this is the uh, master bedroom here? Yes, it's the only bedroom. Therefore, it's the master bedroom. And a uh, key of a fireplace. Looks like you're building yourself one. Well, um, this was an ornamental fireplace, which we didn't know it was ornamental. Jim built a fireplace one night, and it smoked up the whole house, and that annoyed him, and he sledgehammered it. So. Uh -oh. <laughs> Demolition practice. I hope he doesn't get yeah. mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this is basically the whole project, right? Yes, it is. This is uh, these four rooms, and there's a little something else. But come on, let's go back out to the fireplace okay. and talk about it. Well, well, Jim, you said there was one more thing. What was that? Yeah, Norm, we've decided that we'd like to put a library right here next to the studio. Something maybe around, oh, 10 by 20 and uh, a powder room. Wow, so a 200 square foot addition with a powder room. It's, it's changing a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing something here. We started out with a rehab. Now we've got a whole library. What's your budget? Oh. About $100,000. Boy, uh, no wonder the this old house business card is next to the religious statue. Yeah, that's for sure. That's not a lot of money. Uh, what kind of participation can we get from both of you? Well, you've seen how I'm good at demolishing things. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> We're both pretty good at painting, and uh, we can certainly handle cleanup. And any job that it wouldn't take a skilled construction craftsman to do, we're willing to try. What about an architect? We're very fortunate there. Uh, John Mediette is a well-known architect here in uh, New Mexico, and he's uh, been helping us with plans for this. Okay. Well, maybe I should get together with him, and, you know, Rich is coming in this afternoon, and you and uh, Tertui and Wolf can get together and sort of kick the tires on this place. We'll get together later. You guys should talk to your banker. We will. Okay, Steve, here are the plans. Good. 
Got some floor plans? You bet. Renovations? Right. What we've done is highlighted the areas that we're going to add on to and remodel. This basically is the library office addition, mechanical room, a little powder room in here. Then we're moving nice. over to the kitchen and going to completely gut that, yeah. open that up, put a pantry, put two large French doors facing southwest. Then we're going to put this large deep portal mm -hmm. to protect us from the sun because this becomes a large entertainment landscape area that'll be most of the summer entertainment Great. living that, area. That just opens this whole thing up onto the garden. Right. How about elevation? You bet. What we've done on the elevations also is kind of highlighted the changes so we can pick them out easier. This is the new library addition on the front of the house. Right. This entryway is going to be modified a little bit. This is the big portal to the southwest. These well, are the kitchen lovely. doors and the dining room doors. So that kind of draws you out into there. These mm -hmm. two elevations are basically showing the rest of the house that we needed to uh, develop. Now, did you run this past the Historic Commission? Oh, yeah. As you know, this is in the heart of Santa Fe, and they are very, very strict about what we do. So we met with staff twice. We went out to the site twice. We got their blessings, and then we took it to the full committee to be sure there weren't any glitches or one of the members had a problem. And as you know, what they're looking for is massing, window positions, colors, textures, how the scale of this fits not only to itself but to the mm -hmm. adjacent neighborhood. And after all of that, they gave us their complete blessing. So we're, we're through that. How about permits? Permit, once we complete the drawings and submit them to them, we should have that within a week or 10 days. Great. Well, even as we speak, Rich Trithui and Norm are giving this building a thorough checking out. And if, and if everything is go, I say we build it. We're ready. Let's do Good. it. Well, John, you know, this job looks a little tough to me. I mean, every contractor sets up his jobs differently. But looking around here, to my eye, there's not a lot of room. I mean, all the yards are real small. Everybody's backed up against one another. You don't have a lot of space to store materials, bring in heavy equipment, and I don't even see very many parking spots for your men. Well, I'm not going to kid you, Norm. It is hard, but I do try to uh, work deals out with the neighbors and so forth. So they do give us uh, some access to their land so we can store the materials there. Some of the workmen can park their vehicles there. You're right, though. Oh, you worked that out. Okay. Now, also, this is a historic district, and I've heard horror stories about permit holdups and paperwork. It's crazy. Well, you've heard the truth. It is tough. We've done several of these type of projects, and we're accustomed to it. So you've learned how to solve all those problems. Those are all budgetary considerations up front. You bet. Okay. Now, I've had a chance to walk around inside the house, and I see some serious problems in there. Oh, and I uh, suspect that most of the problems in Santa Fe are caused by a canale. A canale is the item that takes the water off the roof. On a cold day, the uh, cold air will go up underneath the canale, causing the water coming off the roof to freeze and literally just open the roof wide open. And eventually it leaks in and causes the damage that I saw. Let's take a look. See? Oh, this is a classic Santa Fe problem. Dealt with it a hundred times, Norm. I don't know. It doesn't bother, seem to bother you, but I look up here and see the plastic bulging away. It's bulging away at the side of the window. It looks like... The whole thing's ready to come down. Trust me, we deal with this all the time. Well, you're the expert with the Adobe. All right. Now look, over in this room, though, I found something very disturbing in the corner. This floor. Look at it. Feels like it's going to go right through. Well, another you... darn canali problem coming from up above again. What we have here is that this old floor probably has the joist laying directly on the ground, and we have a leaking canali up above. So you've got rot. That's right. But in New England, whenever we have rot, we usually have insects, and when we have insects, like carpenter ants or termites, they're all over the place. Too dry in Santa Fe. Chances are we have no pest problem here. It's just going to be a water rod. All right. That's, that's right. good. Now, I wanted you to meet our mechanical systems expert, Rich Tathui. Oh, he should be here. Hi, he Norm. Hi, Richard. Buenos dias. Hi. Meet, Buenos uh, dias. Hi, John Wolf. Right. Richard, pleasure. Well, look, Richard, you've been around town, and you've got a chance to look at this project. What do you think? Well, I find out that it's cold in Santa Fe, so let's talk about heating. I think as you look at it, this place needs a new heating system. Uh, out here, uh, they use gas as a fuel, and they, m most houses have uh, forced hot water with either baseboard or underfloor heating, which we like. Right. Now, how about air conditioning? Well, air conditioning is not really a factor here out in, in Santa Fe, but in talking with Jim, the homeowner, he's got severe allergy problems. So what we've, he would like, if the budget can allow it, is a room or two that has some air conditioning. Hmm. Is there any chance for uh, solar use out here? You know, I came out here, you know, 300 days a year of sunshine, and I expect to see solar panels everywhere, and it's just, it's a non-issue out here in Santa Fe. Yeah, since the tax and the federal credits have uh, dropped away, no one does many, uh, much solar any longer. Mm. Yeah. What about the uh, plumbing, waste and water? Plumbing's pretty straightforward. I mean, that, that group says, this 
scheme calls for a half bath right over here, mm -hmm. that could be a problem because of the change in grade. We may have to run the drain line and trench it out to the, to the street, which could be a budget item. Yeah. Well, speaking of budget, uh, you've had a chance to think of some numbers, I'm sure. What do you think it's going to take? Well, what, uh, what do you got for budget? We got 100000 For me? That's it. No, that's oh, it. Oh, no, for me, too. <laughs> um, it's going to be difficult to, to get it in, but I think we'll have to work awful hard on getting some donations. Uh, we found a great contractor locally that's going to help us with plumbing and uh, heating. And what's new? I mean, we'll do what we can. Oh, so we think we can do it. Well, I guess I better find Steve and break the good news to our homeowners. Let's do it. Well, have I got some good news. The bank said that uh, everything was just fine. Everything was okay. Great. Well, I met with John Wolf, and uh, he said we have some problems here, but don't worry. Be happy. He can solve them all. <laughs> How about Trithui? Uh Rich is a little concerned about our budget, but with donations, he thinks we can make yeah. it. Good. Well, I met with uh, John Midyat, and he's drawn some terrific plans. So. I say, if we're all agreed, let's move forward. Great. That's wonderful. Good. Well, until next time, from Santa Fe, when we hear the slurp of adobe mud and the ring of skill sauce, I'm Steve Thomas. And I'm Norm Abram. For this old house. Now, where can I get some chili peppers? What? Red or cream? I think both. <laughs> Come on. Funding for this old house is provided by Parks Corporation, makers of Carver Trip wood stains, clear finishes, and enamels, products that enrich, protect, and preserve the natural beauty of wood. And by State Farm Insurance and the more than 17,000 State Farm agents for family insurance needs, auto, home, life, and health. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. volume to This Old House, written by Bob Vila with Jane Davison, is a comprehensive guide for homeowners who want practical advice on how to understand, plan, and manage a home rehabilitation project, using both professional help and their own time and effort. To order your copy of a softcover edition, call 1-800-441-3000, 1995 plus shipping and handling, credit cards accepted.